So most of the TVs that we get nowadays are Full HD or Ultra HD, and they come with universal TV remotes which function along with Chromecast and Fire TV Stick. How's that, you ask? Well, it's a hidden feature called HDMI CEC. So HDMI CEC is basically HDMI consumer electronics control, which means that your TV can control the streaming devices with your TV universal remote and vice versa. We'll check out all of that mumbo jumbo later on, but let's first see what the cool stuff it can do. Here are some of those. While something's playing back on your Chromecast, press the pause and play button on your TV remote and boom, it works flawlessly. This especially becomes useful if you have a Google Chromecast, which doesn't come with its own separate remote control. Here's another one. Even though my TV is powered off, if I say, hey Google, what strain the things in my bedroom TV? Now, my phone will send a signal to Chromecast over Wi-Fi, and via CEC, the Chromecast will turn the TV on, switch the input channel to Chromecast, and start playing Stranger Things without you even saying have to touch the TV remote. Though, just make sure your Chromecast is powered by the wall adapter and not with the TV's USB port. Say, if you have a Fire Stick attached to your TV but the receiver is set to Live TV, now all you have to do is click the Home button on the Fire TV Stick remote, and the remote switches to the receiver to code the HDMI input on the receiver for the Fire Stick. No need to use the TV remote. Or it works the other way around as well. Say I'm watching something on my Fire Stick and the Fire Stick remote is kept far away from me. Well, I can use the TV remote to control basic function on Fire Stick. Similarly, the new fourth generation Apple TV also supports HDMI CC. Just make sure that control TVs and receivers in the Apple TV settings is toggled on. If this section is grayed out, then it means that your HDMI is not HDMI CC compatible. Now your Apple TV can automatically turn your television on, switch to the right HDMI input and even control the volume. Oh yeah, and obviously on a console like PS4, you need to manually enable it as it's disabled by default for some reason. You can do so by going into settings, system enable, HDMI device link, while Android TV box such as Nvidia Shield partially supports HDMI CC. So you might say like, this is all cool and all, but how do you actually get this? Well, all you have to do is turn on the HDMI CEC option enabled on your TV. But the problem is, most of the television manufacturers don't call this feature HDMI CEC, so it might get a little bit confusing. You know what? Let me decrypt this for you so you have a better understanding of how it works. For example, in LG TV it's called Simplink, in Philips TV it's called EasyLink, in Samsung it's AnyNet Plus, and in Sony it's called Bravia Sync. If you have some other TV, don't worry. We'll have the compatible list in the video description below. Now you know what it's called, all you have to do is go find it on your TV and enable this feature. For example, I've got an LG Smart TV, so I'll have to find the Simplink HDMI CC feature and enable it. By default, it's turned off in most TVs, so all you need to do is figure that out. Overall, HDMI CC is quite a useful feature. All you have to do is manually find it and then turn it on. Let us know in the comment section below which TV you're using and if you were able to find that feature. Also, check out SmartDS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's a bunch of those. It's just $5 a month, additionally to unblock, say, a bunch of content that you would normally have access to. I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe.